Uh, so, um, our, our uh, work is generated, uh, generative adversarial network for student structure prediction. And here is our team. Uh, we're working on this. Uh, so, um, my uh, agenda is uh, first, uh, um, I will speak a little bit about, about our motivation. Uh, then we go to the uh, concept uh, of, uh, of our network. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about model, uh, how it was built, and uh, what, what data it uh, it needs to, to run. Um, then we go to the results, uh, and we talk a little bit about our conclusion, uh, what came out out uh, during this research, and uh, at the end, um, I will tell tell you a little bit about our future works. So, um, about the motivation, um, we had a problem that during uh, COVID, our university needs something, uh, some tool, uh, some system to forecast a student's application. Uh, how, man, uh, how many students will uh, um, come next year? Uh, we all know this situation. It was uh, hard. It was uh, every, all the all the teaching, uh, all teaching began to be online. It wasn't very attractive for students, so um, we need something to forecast uh, how it will affect our uh, our applications. Um, so, the concept was that the first uh, we started with some regression models, but uh, because of lack uh, of the time series da data, uh, we have only. Five years uh, in that. Uh, well, we quickly uh, stopped that idea because uh, it was uh, it was going uh, it, it wasn't enough for machine learning models. Uh, but on the other hand, we have uh, we had a lot of data about uh, who applied, how uh, it was, uh, who it was from uh, from which uh, city, for from um, which field of studies. So uh, we knew uh, who. Who uh, applied on uh, each um, on each uh, field, uh, our field of study, and here we are talking about uh, master uh, studies, uh, so that's uh, that's important. Um, yeah, and um, with that data, we came up uh, with the idea to simulate to try simulate uh, who will apply, not uh, uh, not how many uh, people will uh, apply. Yeah, so that's why we decided to use Gans and check out if uh, if they, uh, if it uh, will uh, be enough to create uh, fake students and uh, make us prepare for the next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's uh, that's the data we're trying to simulate. So uh, we need uh, data about uh, employer, if if, if any uh, of of the student, uh, study field, uh, previous study. Uh, field. Um, th there was also uh, some information about CT, but it was, uh, in fact, it was important for us to uh, be measured in uh, in kilometer kilometers from from our university. <clears throat> so that's uh, that was this uh, data. Nationality. It was uh, important for us. Uh, gender uh, uh, status. It's uh, our inner um, parameter that says if. Uh, if students is active or suspended, for example, um, work experience, uh, it was uh, also um, measured in years. So, uh, so that's the um, that's that's the point here. And the university, uh, pre uh, previous university, uh, if uh, if if something uh, in some if somebody came from the different university, it was important for us. So um, that was the uh, uh, data we were trying to uh, simulate, and uh, here we have our um, um, generator and discriminator. Uh, you can see there's a uh, generator have a uh, six layers, uh, and um, um, discriminator have uh, seven, which is important because uh, discriminator discriminator needs to be a slightly uh, more advanced than a new generator. Um, during our experiments, it uh, came out that if we, for example, uh, 
increase the uh, number of layers, uh, the amount of layers uh, in discriminator by three, for example, uh, it will just over overwhelm uh, the generator and uh, generator will uh, generate nothing important, nothing important, nothing interesting. So that was important. Uh, that was very important to to make discriminator just slightly uh, more advanced. Uh, yes. On the other hand, uh, if uh, if discriminator was uh, um, if if generator was uh, more advanced, uh, discriminator discriminator just uh, don't see any pattern, uh, and uh, it was uh, also the bad output. Uh, and that's the um, that's the uh, training history. Uh, so you can see that uh, both of these uh, networks were uh, competing with each other, uh, and uh, and it's uh, um, here here we have five uh, five thousand ep uh, epochs. So uh, if if we increase that uh, time, usually uh, discriminator is a more advanced uh, network. Take, adva take, take advantage and uh, and it never com comes back to normal uh, state. So seven uh, seven thousand epochs was too much, five thousand was uh, enough. So um, um, oh yeah, below uh, below we have also uh, a, a table that presents the uh, structure of data. Mm of the real data uh, that, that we are teaching on. And uh, yeah, well, the, the, the next slide is, uh, is really uh, important and interesting. You can see that uh, here we have a, a percentage of uh, data that, exceed, uh, that exceeds uh, was in, in, the, in the right, uh, in the, in the right um, area of uh, of the real data. Here we have a fake, a fake data percentage that were in the right uh, area of uh, real data. And uh, usually we can uh, very good um, simulate nationality. It's because of um, most who were Polish. Um, but uh, here here we have also uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, in fields that exceeds uh, 50 percentage uh, on the by, by black is uh, they are there data that um, exceeds uh, 75 percentage uh, so it still needs some work in the, this this idea it still needs some work but there's uh, there's a light on in at the end of the tunnel so uh, so well we'll We'll uh, try to do it in, um, in the next uh, next years. Uh, and uh, mm, here's how to, it. Uh, mm, mm, here, here's how the effect data uh, mm, uh, locates. So for the empl employer, we have this, uh, these classes, and uh, mostly uh, it was uh, not reported. Uh, it's a fake data or. Um, mm, it's black, uh, gray is uh, it's a real data, um, so that's uh, that's an employer employer uh, graph. Uh, here we have a study uh, field, a previous study. Mm. Also uh, next is a city measured in kilometers, as I mentioned before. Uh, nationality, as uh, I told you before, that mostly they were Polish, so so here it uh, sh uh, it shows. Um, Mm, as well, uh, it's important that uh, here we, we can we cannot see that uh, there are different uh, dif different nationalities, but they were just it was a, a small per percentage of it. Mm, mm, here we have also gender. Mm, that's that's the uh, uh, that's the distribution. Uh, our status. So here we have a uh, mm, uh, studying uh, active uh, students suspended, as I told before. But there are others, mm, and work work experience. Uh, mm, of course, usually uh, it, it's uh, mm, students that uh, were working not more than uh, two years before, but there were some others of them. Here we have also uh, students that uh, are. Mm, 
um, older and have more uh, work experience. Uh, and uh, at the end, we have uh, also the university. Um, so here are some uh, universities that are uh, um, coming to, uh, on our university, and that's the um, distribution of uh, of them. And uh, about conclusion, uh, I told you that we have uh, only uh, eleven uh, out of the forty-eight uh, that exceeds uh, seventy-five percent uh, of, uh, um, uh, of, uh, of of the data that uh, goes in the, into the area um, of true data. And uh, but there, on the other hand, there is only eighteen uh, sets that exceeds below uh, mm, uh, below margin of uh, fifty percentage. So so that's that's the the light on uh, on the end of the tunnel. Mm, yes, and uh, as as a mm, as a last conclusion, I think uh, we can uh, we can explore more this area because it's, uh, it's it's something uh, that uh, that needs a little bit more more work. Uh, to be done. Yeah, and uh, about our future works, uh, so we will uh, do it. We will continue uh, on continue our research in forecasting uh, using GAN, uh, simulate uh, our students uh, using GAN because it seems that uh, it uh, can be it it can uh, provide some uh, interesting uh, in, in interesting results. Okay, and so that's gonna be it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your interesting presentation and uh, I start uh, officially discussion. If you have questions, please let us know. I can't see any uh, any questions at the moment, so maybe I will ask uh, ask you about uh, how to use these results in a real life uh, decision making processes. How do you think? What level of certainty of this model is uh, enough to base uh, your business decisions based on those predictions? Uh, well, so the whole idea was to uh, simulate a distribution of uh, our students and uh, say that, uh, for example, there was uh, uh, some students that uh, mm, uh, Came from the uh, uh, far away, from for example uh, Szczecin or maybe from uh, Berlin. Uh, so they need. Uh, if if we can, uh, if we would have this data about um, those students that came from far away, far away, we can prepare an, um, um, apartments for them. Or maybe uh, start a marketing, uh, for, um, not in Warsaw but uh, in other cities. Uh, so um, yeah, th that's that's a one idea. We have also we had also uh, previous universities, so we can also start um, improve mar marketing in other universities, or maybe um, start um, and cooperate uh, with them. So that's uh, that's like the uh, that's the idea that was the idea behind this, uh, to prepare them, um, also make marketing, but but uh, <clears throat> some uh, um, in, uh, inner processes like uh, preparing apartments for for students or maybe changing the um, courses uh, to to be more uh, related for those students. Okay, thank you very much.